somehow, somehow, in some way, we're, we're getting close to the month of December. We're getting close. I know this game tomorrow night, but we're getting real close to the month of December. We're getting real close. From, from this point onward, things are going to get a little weird. From this point onward, things are going to get a little weird. And, you know, this week 12, you know, taught us a lot of things. It taught us about giving thanks, having family around. And maybe, just maybe, there are some things that are just absolutely so nonsensical, so asinine that it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any plausible sense. It doesn't make any logical sense. It doesn't make any reasonable sense. But it makes sense to t- teams at the time. You know, Frank Reich is gone. Jack Del Rio is gone. Those guys are gone. There's, there's, there's some guys that are gone. I know there's more injuries and stuff like that, but there's, well, let's just be real. Jack Del Rio, what kind of defense was that? Frank Reich, <laughs> what kind of coaching was that? Both of these guys have been underachieving all season long. So at this point, I don't I don't blame I don't blame anybody for firing these two. It it it's get it, it got rough. It it got rough for, for the commies against the Cowboys. Frank Reich, that's pretty self explanatory at this point. It's bad. The Lions, unfortunately for the Lions, you know, they lost on Thanksgiving yet again. They looked lost against the Packers. We're we're talking this is just this is mind-boggling football for the Detroit Lions. They, they, they did this again. You know, they escaped from Chicago where, the week before last, and you know, yeah, it's a short week and everything, but it's the Packers. They're not that good this year, and yet the Packers looking more and more like you know the team of old. You know, Jordan Love looking like prime Aaron Rodgers out there. Insane stuff to me. <laughs> it really insane. Um, Buffalo, don't even get me started on that defense. I know it's injured. I know it, it was injured. It's been injured all season. They picked up some pieces, but the pieces haven't been very helpful. It's not. It's not a very cohesive puzzle piece. I'll tell you that. It's not making a clear picture. So that defense is comically bad at this point. How do you let this stuff happen? How do you let Jalen Hurts do this to you? How? It shouldn't be happening. Uh, the Jets, it can't get any worse, right? It can't get worse. You know, yeah, Aaron Rodgers is trying to come back early, but why, though? Why? You're 79 days removed, as of the time of this recording, from getting your ACL repaired. What are you doing? Go rehab. I get Cam Akers came back after six months. But you're not Cam Akers. You're Aaron Rodgers. You're in the twilights of your career at this point. You're you're basically in the twilight of your career. You're getting way older. You should be resting. This is insane. Chicago, Minnesota, I don't even want to talk about that. It was so putrid. You know, of course I wasn't going to watch this game because it, it involved Chicago. But it was putrid. The Chargers, their season might be over. That defense, they can't, they can't save anybody. They can't even save Josh Allen. What makes you think they can save Justin Herbert? They can't. They can't. You know? I mean, yeah, Baltimore was, you know, being Baltimore and making, you know, silly decisions and it about two times, you know, looking like absolute garbage sometimes during that game against the Chargers. But, you know, the Chargers are still the Chargers. They made the mistakes on defense, you know. Like Herbert will do just enough. And yet the Chargers still find a way to mess it up. Seattle, they got smacked around by San Francisco. And they're probably going to get smacked around again in a couple weeks. Jacks, Texans, that was good. The ref ball was not. But I'm talking, there were on both sides, missed calls everywhere. Everywhere there were missed calls. And... Both, and there were like three or four missed calls on both teams that were very blatant. You could see them in the stadium. You could see them on the TV screens. You could probably even see the blatant missed calls outside the stadium. It was that bad. The Steelers, I don't know how they do it. They keep finding ways to win. But the caveat is their offense no longer has Matt Canada. Their offense put up 400-plus yards of offense. 
they still put up only what sixteen points, but you know they they found offense. Is that good? Right? I'm feeling a little cold. I'm feeling a little bit cold. But this week, week thirteen, we're in the final third of the NFL regular season, and the Seahawks now they have to find the answers to all their problems, which is a lot of problems. You know, Deron Bland is coming. You know, to maybe pick off Geno Smith for another pick six. He's got the pick six in a season record at this point. Denver, surprisingly, they they smacked around Cleveland like it was nobody's business. Like, I'm surprised. Then again, DTR got knocked out of that game, basically, and Denver ran away with it. I mean, they're in a good position to be in position, but they're facing a Texas squad that's kind of angry. Dick Detroit. I don't know how they're going to recover against New Orleans. You know, it's going to be an interesting game, to be quite honest with you. New Orleans not in the lead in the NFC South, you know, right now, surprisingly. Or are they? I don't I don't know. I don't care about the NFC South. I think I think I made this very clear that the NFC South is absolute garbage. The commanders will well will their commanders defense be any good at any point against Miami? Probably not. I just wanted to post the question out there. Kyler Murray's been back for a couple weeks, but you know, the real question is, is can Pittsburgh keep that offense up? And the Eagles 49ers, CMC versus Jalen Hurts, you know, those Philly wide receivers, that 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 Philly defense, you know. Just a, and a really good 49ers defense. You know, both defenses are really, really good. I'm expecting another slugfest, a definitely a type of game that's going to deliver in terms of ratings, in terms of matchups. It, it's it's another heavyweight showdown, and I'm loving I'm loving every second of it. The Chiefs receivers, they got to find their hands against the Packers, you know. And the Bengals, they're going to be against Jacksonville. Pretty good Jacksonville team. Are the Bengals going to be able to save their season? That's basically the questions and the storylines that we're trying to look up for here. Jake Browning did serviceable, but it clearly was not enough for the Bengals against the Steelers. So maybe against the Jags, will that be enough? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll find out this week. Uh, definitely not an appealing slate at all. I tried them, you know, make as best as I could out of it. I really don't want to watch any NFC South teams at any point, but, you know, Detroit, you know, is reeling and New Orleans is, you know, battling with Atlanta for the number seven seed to get smoked by potentially the Dallas Cowboys. And I mean, that's just, that's probably who the five seed is going to, or rather, yeah, yeah, the five seed, that's probably who the five seed is going to be at this point, you know, so, yeah. Detroit, New Orleans, definitely looking at that game. Denver, Houston, looking at that game, of course. And of course, that Eagles 49ers showdown is going to be one hell of a showdown late in the afternoon. I don't know if I'll be watching Sunday Night Football. It's the Packers. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't have the energy to watch Chiefs receivers this week, you know. And Monday night, I don't think I have the energy for that either. So I'm just going to stick to Thursday and Sunday this week. But if y'all are, you know, way more of a diehard with the football than I am, then, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll get out y'all's hair and see y'all later. Actually, see you tomorrow. I got something for y'all tomorrow. So.